Ice castles are one of winter's most magical attractions. This award-winning frozen attraction is located in five different states across North America. Minnesota, New Hampshire, New York, Utah, and Wisconsin. The experience is built using hundreds of thousands of icicles hand-placed by professional ice artists. The castles include breathtaking LED-lit sculptures, archways, towers, frozen thrones, ice-carved tunnels, fountains, and slides. It takes several weeks to build an ice castle. I've never experienced anything like this before. It is quite different than most adventures I normally take. This video will provide key details, tips, tricks, and my review so that you have a memorable experience at the ice castles at the time of your life. Let's go! The ice castles normally open in January of each year. For the 2023 season, tickets go on sale November 28th for peak season tickets. This is great because when we bought tickets for January 2022, tickets did not go on sale until a week before the official opening. So just keep that in mind just in case they only release a certain amount of tickets. The actual opening is normally the third week in January. The best way to find out about ticket release date is to sign up for the newsletter on the Ice Castle's website and to follow their Instagram page. If not sold out, tickets can be purchased on site, but I would not risk it because it sells out and this is something you don't want to miss. The ticket prices. For the weekend, it is more expensive. General admission is $29 and child admission is $22. If you go during the week, general admission is $25 and child admission is $17, but the prices can change at any time. As you can see in this video, there is plenty of parking, so please do not worry. First come out, bathroom. Each ticket time slot has a 30 minute entrance window. Our time slot was from 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. This meant that we could enter at any time between 4 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. Yeah, but you can stand in front and take a picture. We went around 4.15. We wanted to experience day and night. So this was the perfect time slot. I'm telling you, these castles are going to blow you away from the moment you step in. Let's take a look at some of the things that you don't want to miss. Watch the 
this throne was literally one of my favorites. I was in my element as the princess that I am. felt like I was a princess in a fairy tale movie. So if you're taking your children, they are going to be in love. I was an adult and was taken aback. But the ice slide was one of our favorite. They have a rainbow archway. I think I went back to that attraction five or six times. There are caverns, they have crawl tunnels, winter characters, and sleigh rides. You will see all of this as you journey through the castle, so you really can't miss it. Now let's talk about the duration a little bit. We spent about two hours in the castle. I don't think you need this much time, but like I stated, we wanted to experience daylight and nighttime. So with this time slide, we were able to capture the amazing shot in the day, but also experience the beauty that it turned into at night. You only need about an hour to get through the castle and take it all in and take all of the pictures that you need. In order to get day and night, you can also go with like a 5 o'clock, maybe 5.30 time slot. Things that you want to bring. If you have young kids, you may want to bring a sled, but you definitely want to get waterproof pants, waterproof boots, and hand warmers. I linked all of these in the description, and you can check that out because these are a must. These will keep you cool. How cool was this rainbow archway? Out of all of the attractions, I think this is the one that I personally spent the most time at, as you can see. Let's take a look. There was no time while I was at the castle that I felt like I was cold because I was bundled up. I had on my waterproof gear and I had on a jacket and a hat on my head. And of course, nice warm boots, a scarf, long sleeves. So I never got cold, which is important because you don't want to be there for two hours and freezing. <laughs> So tips for visiting, make sure you get your tickets early. When they go on sale November 28th, these are the peak season tickets. You want to get your tickets that day. Secure the bag at all costs. Dress warm. This is imperative. You don't want to be uncomfortable because you don't want anything that's going to rush your time. Which leads me to my next point. Take your time. There's so much to do. There's so much to see. You don't want to miss anything trying to rush. Just take your time. 
You also want to go during the week if you can. There will be less people and the tickets are a little bit cheaper. Now, let's talk about the lines. For the most part, when you go in, you will be able to walk in. There shouldn't be too much of a line. You will be able to walk around freely, but there were a lot of people. For most of the attractions, initially, there was not a long line, but as it got later, some of the things did have a line, like the rainbow archway, because of course, at night, it's so pretty. It looks so much better, and people lined up to take pictures. I think the longest line we had was about 15 minutes, so it's really not that bad. They also had hot chocolate, things for you to drink, and little snacks. That is located on the way out, but you will see it towards the end. There is also a restaurant on site. A lot of people went to the ice castle and then they went to the restaurant to eat. They have all types of food. I think Leroy got pizza, I got burgers, and then we had something cold to drink. We went before we went into the ice castles, but a lot of people come afterwards. There's plenty of seating and you can just enjoy yourself and detox after you come from the castle. Yeah. And I want you to have an amazing time. If you have any questions, please comment and let me know and I will get them addressed. Check out our description box because I have links to pants that you can purchase and the website where you can keep yourself updated, updated on the latest information about the ice castles. See you later. Ooh.